All right, we should be alive on the internet, but nobody's watching it, so I'm gonna tweet this out. <laughs> I live again. I die. Wait, I live. I die. I live again. Yeah, what's that from? I've heard that before. Uh, it's from Mad Max Fury Road. Oh. War right. boys. Is that right? No, I guess that's right. Wow, I can't believe that movie made it into pop culture. Damn, what a shame. What do you mean it made it into pop culture? Of course it is. One of the fucking best movies of all time. It wormed its way in there with its feminist, communist propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> Just critically un unresearched, yep. This is a great start to the stream. Well, I, I didn't do the 10 minute timer, so nobody really is going to even be in here yet. <laughs> <laughs> but I, uh, oh, no. I felt there's no need to do a timer tonight. We'll just wait for people to come in. Why does it show how many people are watching? Or is this zero? No, uh, it will. Can one of you guys uh, listen and see if your audio levels are, you know, up to par with mine? Like, sure. Loudness wise. Uh, so let's see here. Florian, I am talking right now. I think I might be too quiet. Ooh. Hey, here's people coming in the chat. What's up, everybody? Yo, sheep, let us know. Do we need to change the audio levels? You're the only person I trust. I don't even trust Erich anymore. Turn me up. Everyone Ooh. sounds perfect. Whoa. Damn, right. first time. What the hell? Is this even Kino anymore? If we all sound good, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> I can hardly hear myself on here. Are you sure? Uh, I can boost uh, you individually. <laughs> Implying we need to hear <laughs> Good point. Good point. Fucking image. Oh, my God. All righty. I, I turned up uh, Florian by 60%. So. Hooray. But if Sheep says you sound good, you probably sound good. I don't know. Hey, thank you for subscribing Sunday morning. That's a funny username. Yeah, I guess I'm fine now anyways. Florian is quiet. Erich sounds cucked. Perfect. I knew <laughs> wow. it. Wow. Never could have seen that coming. Yeah, who would have thought sheep would not know what the fuck she's talking about? Well, I, mean, I, I assume not she my just face didn't hear me, and that's why she didn't know. I was that quiet. It's me, Erich, your one true Valentine, according to uh, Twitter. All right, so does the audio sound good now? Can I start telling the hilarious story of uh, what just happened <laughs> on Twitter? Oh. Oh, is it burger related? No, no, not burger related for once. We got we got an even bigger ass burger on our hands today. Oh my god, that's how is that possible? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess Asperger really turned out to be more of a dick burger, so I guess that's fine. Okay. Uh hey everybody. Before we do some keno, uh <laughs> I, I get a message from an account called not monkey jones on twitter it's a parody account of me it has about 268 followers on it mm -hmm. and, and they say hey look at this screenshot this guy quentin reviews just sent me a whole bunch of messages thinking i am you <laughs> <laughs> shit <laughs> holy shit now if you don't know quentin and i have have had a little bit of a uh, history online uh i said some mean things about him because i don't respect him as a person and uh then when my channel got taken down he posted a tweet celebrating it and everybody attacked him for it personally i didn't really care i thought it was fine because i shit on him why can't he shit on me uh, i thought it was funny uh but I, I haven't really thought about him in a, in a month uh, I haven't tweeted about him in a month. I really have moved oh. on to bigger and better things. But uh, here's what I guess just today, Quentin messaged to an account that is not me. And I can't read all of this. He has a very dirty mouth that would get me banned from Twitch. Oh, my God. <laughs> how, how, how sure are you that this is real? I know it is because uh, I just tweeted out the message, and now uh, he's actually messaging the correct account crying about it. <laughs> <laughs> nice what a great he, wow. he says hey monkey and, and this is all soaked in sarcasm by the way hey monkey mm -hmm. just wanted to apologize for being mean to you once 
and for oh also God. and for also being such a f slur. Now I'm not going to say what this f slur is, folks, but it's that it is uh, it's a ban worthy offense in my opinion. I think it should be. I think it's a disgusting word, and I can't oh, believe man. Quentin Reviews would use that word in what he thought was a private message to me, but was actually to some random child. <laughs> so he should not be surprised that now everybody <laughs> is going to see this. <laughs> I'll strive to be less gay in the future. Don't know why he thinks he needs to do that. Uh, sorry if I was too much of a F slur for you. Okay, he goes on. Really, I had no idea that's how I was until you reached out to me. I never reached out what to Quentin. Fuck? I've never reached out to Quentin. I talked about him on a comedy podcast because he was Whoops. the subject of the day. Mm. Uh, so thanks for wow. that. Also, the rape comment cool beans i guess he thinks i called him a rapist because i said uh, i wouldn't trust him alone with one of my younger female cousins that's i didn't say he's a rapist i said he's a creep and i wouldn't i wouldn't want him babysitting i don't trust him enough to babysit my younger female family members eridge is that so much to is that so bad to say Jeez. no no would you trust any random bearded man alone with perhaps the the youngest most innocent uh, perhaps rapeable children in your family. Uh, no comment. No, no comment. No comment. No. He continues oh, again. No. We're not even halfway wait, that, done. That, wait, that means Erich would do that. Uh, he said no comment, said so we we can't rapeable. assume. Well, we have to assume because the obvious answer would be no. <laughs> yes. He says no comment. That means yes. Oof. Mm. Oof. That's a big oof, Erich. He, he continues. <laughs> Yeah, if I had known that I was such a f slur and a rapist, oof, man, he's really, uh, really accusing himself of horrible he's things. You a or no, he's a calling rapist. himself one. What is his? <laughs> what is his game? Oh, oh well, <laughs> uh, I never would have disavowed transphobia. Wow, <laughs> what a hero, man! You you sure do God's work. Well, I'm sorry, Quentin, to burst your bubble, but uh, we have an edgy atheist here. That's See, if you would have messaged the correct Twitter account, you would have seen my my Twitter name is Vincent Hates God. I would not be doing God's worth, but clearly you you didn't get that because you messaged a random account called Not Monkey Jones with 250 followers, you fucking idiot. <laughs> he continues. All that aside, this petty drama you started is all a fun little game to you. Correct. Very fun so far. But let's see if it's if it stops being fun. <laughs> but on <laughs> my side of the fence, your fans have doxed me. Oh, you guys want to hear how my fans doxed Quentin reviews? Oh sure. man, this is gonna be real serious trouble. He, I bet they swatted him. I bet they <laughs> did the most heinous acts to him. Oh man! Wait, first of all, I love when I get blamed for things that people I've never heard of before do something. That's really cute, Quentin. Uh, if if we have blamed you for everything that your fans did, you would probably be uh, hung up on the on the uh, crucifix. But uh, here's here's the way Quentin reviews got doxed. Uh, I don't know if you guys know the definition of doxing, but let's see if this matches up in your brain. Quentin Reviews posted a horrible video about PewDiePie versus T-Series, where he said, you know what? I like T-Series better. Everybody subscribe to T-Series. And within five hours, he was so embarrassed by the video that he took it down. So what people did, because it's an internet video, once you post something to the internet, it never goes away. People were just re-uploading that video for archival purposes. Not even my fans. People who probably don't even know who I am. So Quentin, being the YouTube hero that he is, he filed copyright strike takedowns of the videos, which would give those channels strikes and have potential of them being taken down. And when you do a copyright strike, you have to give your full name and it gives the person you're striking your full name. So Quinn Reviews just handed his full name out to people, and now he's blaming me when it <laughs> somehow my fans did it. 
brilliant. Yeah. I think this man is brilliant. I can see why he's adept at reviewing children's cartoons <laughs> on his channel because he's very intelligent. Let's Monkey, continue. We must be missing something. There's no way that some one man could be as idiotic no, dude, as this dude. guy. He must just... be playing seventh dimensional chess. <laughs> oh no. Uh, or twelve dimensional checkers. Uh, in order to... I don't know. What's your what's your take, Florian? We don't even know about. Man, that, that is crazy. Just wow, what what a stupid thing for him to do. Just the idea alone that that he made that T series video and he he didn't <laughs> expect backlash is is just hilarious. Wow. All right, let's, but, let's let's finish this. And now now that he knows what my real account is, he's been blowing it up. So I guess I'll read all of those out loud too. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, your fans have doxed me and have been sending me very interesting death threats. Now, I know nothing about this, ones. but I, I think it's a, a curious term. Interesting death threats. What the fuck does that mean? Well, uh, he just gets boring death threats all the other time. Yeah, uh, uh, these must be very creative and engaging <laughs> death threats. Sweet. And I would like to hear more about these, Quentin, I guess, while you're blowing up my inbox telling me to stop reading this. Uh, I've been spending the last few months of my life living in fear of a culture you created and nurtured. What the fuck did I do? I made a joke about him on a podcast, and then I never fucking talked about him, at least for the last month. I don't know. Did I create a culture that nurtured a, a vitriolic hatred towards a, a, a fat guy who reviews stuff in his parents' basement? Well, I don't know. He, he has it coming anyways, considering what he said about you, but whatever. I, uh, I don't. I guess not. And I don't even care. He can say whatever he wants about me. That's the difference, I, I think, between he and I. I don't care. He could, he could order his fans to send me death threats, and I wouldn't care. And, he's, and he thinks, I guess that's what I did? Uh, bring some receipts, buddy. If you, can, if you can prove I ever asked anybody to send you a death threat, I will send you every penny in my bank account. I promise you that. Uh, living in fear of a culture you created and nurtured. So sorry if I don't find any of this amusing. Signed, fucking F-slur. Oof, he keeps using that F-slur. Problematic term, in my opinion. Yeah, we really need this death destroyer, uh, no, this, this threat destroyer to come back. <laughs> he, he, we really got a big threat on our hands here with this, this Quinton guy. Sounds pretty dangerous. Was so using the absolute speech. part of his plan. Okay, you guys want to hear what he sent me as I was reading this out loud on the show? <laughs> now we're all oh, seeing wow, this. Already. We're all seeing this for the first time. Instant, instant fucking. Yeah. Instant family. <laughs> you just, <laughs> Quentin, if you want me to stop reading things that you uh, DM to random Twitter accounts, <laughs> just, stop. just stop doing it. <laughs> you're, you're literally creating drama for yourself, and I'm just telling people what you said to me. You're in total control of the situation, Quentin. <laughs> yeah, just fucking stop. <laughs> Don't kill the messenger. I'm just reading the crazy shit you're saying. He says, why? And every single word is its own message here. So you can tell he's really upset. <laughs> why in the world would you leak out private information about me being doxxed. He is, of course, saying this in a reference of me uh, tweeting out those messages. Quentin, here's the thing. When you send private messages to a random kid who is not me, I'm not responsible for who sees those messages. I had multiple people send them to me a f uh, about 20 minutes ago. So, Quentin, if you want... How dare you? How dare, how, dare, how dare I tweet out messages that a random account sent me that he accidentally sent to them? Quentin, if you, if you want things to be between us, maybe start off by knowing who you're talking to in the first place. Mm -hmm. You fucking moron. Uh, and, uh, okay, let's continue. What in the world led you to think that isn't the actions of a crazy person. <laughs> now, guys, you guys, you guys are uh, you guys are unbiased in this, right? You're not on anybody's side. Who? No, no, no. no. Who in this situation <laughs> seems like the crazy person so far? Me or him? Uh, definitely not the person who's just sitting here reading responses given to him by somebody else. <laughs> you, you think that the guy who messaged a 250 follower parody Twitter account? 
calling himself the F slur four times. You think that might be the crazy person in this scenario? Uh, that, that person sounds like a stable genius to me. <laughs> uh, okay, now he's uh, now he's actually typing out full paragraphs. You know what? Oh, man. I'm well, just. Is he still going? Well, yeah, he's well, still fucking going. Man, this is crazy. Oh yeah. He, he is literally insane. Wow. <laughs> I mean, who, who would just insult someone and then complain that the insults are posted on the internet? It's just, how, how does that make sense? I don't know. I mean, that's just... You know what? I'm just stressed because I've been under a lot of heat lately. Um, what? Did you, did you lose your, your job? Did, did they delete your, your 300,000 subscriber... Uh, uh, YouTube channel, Quentin. That must be some real hardcore stress you've been going through. Oh, did did your f best friend beat the shit out of his girlfriend and get arrested, and then they both blamed you for it? Man, I can't imagine the stress Quentin Reviews goes through getting mean comments on his YouTube videos. Fuck! God, I, I would not want to trade lives with him. No. All right. Oh God. Well, at least, Damn. At least stress. you don't have to live with that face, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he can grow a beard on his neck, and I can't. So, you know what? Yeah, but, I'm jealous. That's, that's not a beard. That's an abomination. Come on. Quit, man. I, I'm that sorry beard. that you have a successful YouTube channel, and you're probably making big money living your dream, and that you have to put up with being a celebrity on the internet. I know it sucks getting mean comments and mean messages and death threats, and I know it sucks that you told everybody your full name, and now they know it. I don't, man, it just, it, it really fucking sucks, dude. I, I have so much empathy for you right now. Empathy and sympathy, they're seeping out of me. And he's typing again. Okay, let's continue. Before, before <laughs> the messages get too long. I've never met someone as full-hearted and passionate as Monkey Jones is uh, helping Quentin out in his moment of darkness here. Hmm. Really just empathizing. Man, I'm, I'm surprised that you're not taking the, the Lipcock side here and, and standing up for Quentin, you rich. <laughs> By all accounts, what, wait, what? <laughs> the pedophile? All right, let me finish. Oh, let wow. me finish. Let me finish reading what Quinn is, is writing even to this minute. You clearly haven't had negative intentions through all of this, and you've just been playing off of this. Okay, so am I, am I a mastermind, a puppet master, ordering people to send you death threats, or do I have no negative intentions? Please clear up your mind here. On that note, I will never forgive you for what you said about my family. <laughs> wow. He's going to have to give wow. me a refresher course. I don't remember saying anything about his family. I only know ab about him. I don't even know if he has a family. Let's just, just out of curiosity, what do you think the chances that this this not mom Jones account insulted him first? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have no idea. I don't really he, he think it have... matters. How he dumb do you have to be to think it's real? Won't. I mean, it even says in the name, not Monkey Jones. So. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. I additionally don't understand how you can't think that your own fans threatening to kill me isn't a problem. Again, Quentin, I, I guess... Uh, <laughs> Uh, if you want to claim responsibility for the actions of all 350,000 of your subscribers, go ahead. You're clearly an insane person. <laughs> but I'll stand by forever, and I've said this for the last three years, I'll stand by my actions and my words and anybody who is not me, I am not responsible for. Personal responsibility. I know you liberals don't believe in it, but it's a real thing. You should check it out sometime. And then he, two minutes ago, he said, man, this guy is really pissed. You leaked him DMs. I have no idea what the fuck he's talking about there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there you go. That's the, the, we're all caught up in the quitting drama. Fascinating. I guess, what I guess I, last one mean? I think I have, uh, I, have I have no idea what the last one means, but I guess I now have an obligation to say, Nobody who is a fan of Monkey Jones should dox or threaten Quentin. So now if it happens, clearly it was not one of my fans because I just used my uh, tele, uh, telekinetic uh, brainwash uh, mind powers uh -huh. to tell my fans not to do it. So it should not happen from my fans anymore. Master. So saith I. I Orders control all of you listening. Leave Quentin alone. Do not attack Quentin.exe. Yes. 
Uh, okay. All right. I'm sure this is going to continue to blow up and, uh, and, and get more juicy, but we have yeah. to focus on the Lego movie now. <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait to, to read the follow-up after the, the keynote. That will be hilarious, isn't it? Oh, my God. We're going to be here all night. I was I was ready to go to bed at about 9.30 today. And now I have to oh, no. do a podcast and put up with all of this shit. Quentin, if you wouldn't have messaged me at all or who you thought was me at all, there would be no drama right now. You just keep digging your own fucking hole. Just keep to yourself. Talk to your friends in private. Make your stupid fucking Fairly Odd Parents reviews and post them on your huge channel that won't be wrongfully taken down because you don't do anything interesting or edgy. You just do fucking is, milk is, toast shit. And you will have no more drama. Fun. Stop right. making drama for yourself. You're, you're fucking retarded. Stop. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Is Quentin Butch Hartman? Because that would make a lot more sense. <laughs> Could be. Could more be. doxing. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Well, he clearly believes in God, so he must be a Butch Hartman, uh, at least wannabe. Who knows? All right. You guys ready to talk about some movies? Yeah, anyway. let's talk about... For everybody in the chat, about, right? if you're new to Is It Kino Live, here's how it works. We are recording a movie review podcast that is going up on my website and on iTunes and all sorts of places. So, for the most part, as we record the show, we're going to pretend that we're not live on Twitch, that we're not talking, or, or that, that we're not reading a chat. We're just going to talk to the show normally, and then after we finish, we will return to the chat, hang out with you guys, probably get more updated on this drama, and etc. How's that sound? No time to reply. Okay. You boys ready for some Kino? Yeah, let's do some Lego Kino. That's right. My, my voice is still shot. It's been pretty much dead all week but i will push on through you sound everything fine is now. awesome okay give me one second i'll get us started hello everybody and welcome back to your favorite movie review podcast that's right it's the one and only is it kino and i am of course your hostess with the mostest the man with a monkey in the background mr monkey jones joined as always by e rich mccoy everything is awesome everything Thing is cool when you're on is it kino I'm glad as soon as we start recording his microphone decides to cut out <laughs> at yeah. least hopefully every time he tries to sing it'll cut out so we don't have to be put up with that shit that's the kino i know and love <laughs> and uh, your second favorite of all history austrian one florian <laughs> himsel yeah we'll we'll find out once and for all is it lego <laughs> <laughs> now, now, e. Rich, when I say Florian is everybody's second favorite historical Austrian, who do you think might be the number one favorite Austrian throughout all of space and time? Uh, well, you're, of course, talking about Carl Ludwig Joseph Maria of the <laughs> Habsburg dynasty. <laughs> Did you just Google oh, yes, famous Austrian? <laughs> who, who is no. this, e. Rich? You need to give me more. Um, he's one of the best uh, rulers ever. <laughs> oh, I'll have to take your word for it. Damn. Folks, instead of trying to build up that joke, let's build up some Legos, baby. That's right. We covered it's, the Lego Batman though. on this show, what, two years ago? Now we're covering the Lego Movie 2, the second part. Florian Himsel, what did you think of the Lego Movie 2? What a ridiculous title, but yeah, it's it's a lot of another Lego movie. It is, in fact, the second part. Who would have guessed? And <laughs> you, you sound uh, irritated already. <laughs> well, I just can't believe that it would put the second part in the title, but yeah, it, it was a, a good title. movie. <laughs> now, now, Florian, maybe it's a, a maybe like a translation error, or maybe it's because English is not your first language. Do you understand oh, well, the pun well, in the title? Oh my god, have I been missing out on a pun? What is it? Enlighten me. Uh, because, like, Legos are, like, you know, there's different parts to them. Oh, pff. That, that is... E Rich, is that the pun? Am I, am I stupid? If that's a pun, then that's even worse than it would have been. Oh, man. Is it in Auf Deutsch? Is it Die Zweiten Part? Or... <laughs> Die Zweiten I, Part? I didn't see it in German. <laughs> 
so okay, Florian is already uh, enraged by the title. Erich, what did you <laughs> think of the film? Um, I think I should have watched this movie in Danish because Lego <laughs> is a Danish company. So I'm very, very disappointed that it doesn't stick to the source material, which is a bunch of uh, old Danish guys playing with multicolored toys. Um, so let's see here. Lego Movie Part 2, we had a couple years ago, uh, Lego Batman movie. Before that, we had the Lego movie. And after the Batman movie, we had the Ninjago movie, which I didn't see that fucking Ninjago no, movie. I did not see Ninjago shit. either. Um, so by this point, we're pretty inundated with Lego movies. There's a bunch of shit on TV. There's a bunch of shit on fucking line. And perhaps even, I, I would say look, maybe even more so than inundated, perhaps they, they, uh, they came their load too quickly, e -Rich, because the box office results of this sequel are astronomically horrible compared to the first I one. Had, I had no fucking idea this movie was coming out. It's partially on me for like, not like. Uh, uh, seeing TV ads and shit all the time, but like I had so little awareness that like this movie was coming out in February. Um, so if it weren't for Kino, I probably wouldn't have seen this movie. Oh shit! Just because they didn't sell it to me. Like I you're, didn't. You're a fake Lego fan. Man. I didn't know I was supposed to see this movie because I saw a trailer like fucking five months ago. But other than that, it's just completely not on my mind. Um, and I think the movie is serviceable. It does its job. Oh, no. Like, Not the oh, Ocean's yeah. 8 argument again. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Whereas, whereas with Ocean's 8, like, I'm not a huge fan of uh, the Ocean's movies. I was a huge fan of that Lego movie. So when the sequel to the Lego movie is this, like, kind of all right, has some interesting ideas. But the Lego movie was such a just inspirational, interesting movie that it's not supposed to be good and that's what lord miller do is they take ideas that are not good and shouldn't work and they make them work so completely and this movie is written by them but it's not directed by them though and it just doesn't feel as complete and as put together and as uh uh i'm trying to think of other lego uh, analogies here but I'm, I'm losing it um it just doesn't feel as really creative as the first one did and it's really hard for any sequel to like measure up to the original but they i, I just wasn't feeling this movie throughout most of it it's fine it like i think one of the biggest problems I, I was in a theater with like four other people three of those people in the theater with me were children and they did not make a single fucking noise i'm used to children that's good. Like, laughing their asses no off. that's a good thing and, to... and they were so uh, in entranced by the film hypnotized by the pretty colors and jokes that they were not screaming, running through the aisles, or any of that. It sounds like the movie did its job. No, but I remember ki seeing kids in the Lego Batman movie and in the Lego movie, uh, the first part. Um, that's what it was subtitled, right? Whoa! Um, in that first Lego movie, like, they were reacting to it. They were having a good time. They were laughing. They were screaming, which is certainly not what I want to hear. Oof. But there was actual reactions in the theater, which is what I want to, what I want to see when I'm watching a kid's movie. Like, it's for them, so they should be excited to watch it. The kids in my theater were fucking so sedate, and <laughs> it's like they weren't even there, which... Hey, you don't know those yeah, kids. Fine. Maybe they are maybe they have PTSD. Yeah, you never know. Kids are really f unpredictable. They may have had a really long day. Who knows? They may have I'm had a, an uncle who did things to them when they were younger, oh, no. and, and now they just Boring. have to... They stare at Lego movies all day without an expression on their face. You don't know. Shit. You don't know those fucking really kids, E. Rich. Yeah, they, they, got, they got. I was gonna go by Lego toys that were inserted in. in what? Okay. okay. No, all right. No. Bad <laughs> oh, cut. No. Why? Why would their parents take them to the Lego Movie if that is their yeah. tra traumatic backstory? This sounds completely irresponsible, Florian. I, you should never oh, be that, a parent. That part's irresponsible. Oh no. <laughs> All right, let's dive uh, a little bit into what this movie has going on. And my favorite part of the whole thing is that Chris Pratt, who plays Emmett, the the you know happy-go-lucky main character, has a dual role in this film. He nice. also plays, and this is where I'm going to jump into oh, a little no. bit of of what oh. I like to call, uh, I'm going to call it the Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle effect. Although it certainly did not start there, but when a character in a movie is pretty much only funny because you know the actor's history uh, in yeah. film because his dual role he plays an action hero called rex danger vest who is best friends with trained 
raptors, just like his character in uh, the Jurassic World That's movies. Cool. And he's basically right. like uh, like a, a super pumped up mix of that guy in Star Lord. And uh, I I thought it was really funny. I thought it was a funny send up of his his transition from the the fat guy on uh, Parks and Rec to this chiseled action hero and uh, Rex J- Danger Vest was the best part of the movie for me. And I will even go so far to say without without spoilers Rex Danger Vest literally did nothing wrong, folks. And we'll get into that with the spoilers. Just you wait. Who is the Rex wow. Danger Vest like joke and references? Who is that for? Because like It was for me cuz I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> The four to seven year old kids might have seen the Jurassic Park movies. They might have seen Guardians of the Galaxy. Like they're basically like taking all of Chris Pratt's major roles. Uh, they'll have seen fuck. What was that movie he made with Jen- Jennifer uh, Lawrence? Uh, like Alone. Passengers. Passengers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, These wow. seven year old kids are big Passengers fans. They just want to see nothing but. Uh, hey, uh, hey, E. Rich. I'm not talking about the experience of kids who were molested. Like you are, I'm talking about my experience, and in my experience, right, those right. jokes were funny. I'd say that, like with the Lego Movie, when they did those kinds of break the fourth wall, like winking at the audience jokes, they basically came and went very simply. But most of this movie is going to be worried about Emmett wanting to uh, be the same as the Rex Danger Vest character, which is interesting because I think it touches on the character development that you see in the beginning of this movie, where he's like, "Oh well." All the things that somebody was supposed to do was done by uh, what's her fucking name, uh, Wild Style yeah. in that first Lego movie, and Emmett was just kind of like this guy who was just going along. He had crazy ideas like the double decker uh, uh, bed or whatever couch, couch, triple sorry, double decker, decker couch. <laughs> yeah, it's triple decker in this movie. It was double decker in the first. Movie, oh right? jeez, <laughs> but oh, yeah, uh. They, I, I like that they hit upon that in the beginning of this movie, which is that he just didn't really have anything to do. He learned that he could be a master builder at the end, but everybody was a master builder by the end of that movie. So uh, he, he wants to kind of find his way within this world and prove to Wildstyle that he can do, he can prove himself, essentially. Uh, he, he's somebody worth being with. And I like that, but I don't really see what he gets from this. And then there's the villain, uh, the quote-unquote villain who's not actually the villain. Hey! Uh, hey! What do we say about spoilers? <laughs> this, this is an important film that if people go in spoiled, it will ruin... It, it, it'll be like if you said Darth Vader is Luke's dad. That's uh-huh. how important this oh, film no. is, E. Rich. Which is literally said by fucking everyone now. <laughs> well, yeah, but that's not in the context of the time yeah man so you see that the lego that's movie true. is the star wars of our time <laughs> <laughs> yeah and, and star wars yeah. is the star wars prequels of our time well <laughs> the lego movie part two is the solo a star wars story of our time because it's making no money in the box office Oof. Yeah, despite being better than the other parts mm. all right i, I said the, the thing i liked let me tell you the reasons why this movie really left a sour taste in my mouth folks and it's going to take a little wow. bit of elaboration, and you really have to have a, a kino memory for the original film. But if you will recall, the whole metaphor of what is happening in this Lego world and the whole real plot, the underlying and overlying plot of the original Lego movie, is a dad, Will Ferrell, down in the basement. Mm-hmm. He made his perfect Lego world. He doesn't want his kids to touch it. He, in his mind, Legos are not meant to be fun. This is his, his dad project. But, but then, at the end of the film, President Business, Will Ferrell, the father, he learns to connect with his son through the love of playing with Legos. It's a crea- creative outlet for them to bond together. Beautiful message, beautiful ending. I bet fathers and sons across the world bought millions of Lego sets because of that movie. Great. And also, since I no longer have a father, this movie took oh, the place of no, having a father. Well, wow. well, don't don't <laughs> worry. That was don't, a real important movie to you. Huh? Don't don't worry, E. Rich, because thanks to the second movie, it's very clear that having a father fucking sucks. So you should feel lucky <laughs> that, that your your sister's no longer with you because yeah. the entire first movie is undermined with this movie. The whole point of the first movie is Legos are the way that this father and son can finally bond and he's not so focused Uh on work. 
Will Ferrell's father character does not even appear in this sequel. The whole plot is about the son learning to bond with his younger sister to play with Legos. Right. The father, and there are many jokes about this, has abandoned them. He says, fuck the Legos. I'm going to go back to work. The whole point of the first movie has been ruined. <laughs> like, it's, mm -hmm. it's so fucking sad to me. This beautiful arc of father and son coming together. The second movie, I don't know if Will Ferrell just didn't want to show up and just recorded a few lines because he has like eight lines of dialogue. We never see him. Maybe right. he just didn't want to be in it because they completely ruined the whole point of the first movie. Was anybody else irked by this or am I just a, I, I a spoil totally sport? I, I think wow. the movie even hints at that because during the credit scene, it credits Will Ferrell and it is a audio recording symbol rather than Will Ferrell's character. Like, um, they, I think they are commenting on the fact that Will Ferrell just didn't have fucking time to, <laughs> to record his scenes for this fucking thing, so he just went into a studio and fucking said ten lines, however much that hey, was. Here's how you do it. Maybe this is too dark for the Lego movie. The beginning of the movie, we, we, see, the, we see the end of the first one, then there's a five-year time skip, and that's right. why the Lego world is in apocalypse because the younger sister keeps playing with it and, and destroying everything and blah, blah, blah. Why not have the father die? Yeah, I, the, the father killed himself. I, no, no, I know, I know story. it's dark, <laughs> but it's sick. <laughs> but it makes the movie better because one, it doesn't ruin the first one. The father and son bond over the Legos. Once the mm. father is dead, now the son and uh, a daughter can bond over the Legos in, in memory of their departed father. I know it's dark, but I think an even darker ending is one where the father forgets all the lessons he learned and abandons right. his children again. Right. Um, and I think in every subsequent Lego, Lego movie, a family member should <laughs> yes. die. No. And then they're e every the member who plays Legos with the son will die, and then he'll bond <laughs> yeah. with a different one in each subsequent sequel. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. He, he, that that'll be hilarious. <laughs> the mother will die, but then the, un, the 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 child gets saved, and then the baby will die next time. Oh my god. And, oh, they're they oh, just like in fucking Split and Glass. Uh, they are given to an uncle that molests them. Oh. And, uh, oh oof. They they have to get over being molested by playing with Legos. You know, Erich, Florian, and I wanted to come on here and have a lighthearted discussion <laughs> about the Lego Movie, and you're bringing it up like rape and stuff. I, I'm. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm gonna admit I'm a little it's uncomfortable. So I'm a little uncomfortable. Yeah. You're really you're taking right, this podcast, it taking it to a dark place. No, nobody else even hinted <laughs> at well, anything you know resembling monkey, any of that. Nobody, you know what, monkey. Everything as this movie taught me, everything's not awesome. Uh, I can't remember what the rest of it is. Uh, but but if we try, we can make it awesome again. That's the message <laughs> of the movie. I think I this say, movie was inspired by the Trump presidency. <laughs> oh no. I kind of wish that that was more of the theme. Is that like things are going to be hard sometimes, and it's going to seem yeah, like yeah, especially your uncle when you're right. playing with Legos. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like your uncle's not playing with Legos. Yeah. Uh, oof. <laughs> He's playing with something else. Um. Yeah, but like basically, I think the theme should be like things are going to go wrong, and you can't just sit here saying everything is awesome, everything is awesome, and when it's not, you have to like commit to making it better and changing something and making the change you want to see in the world. But wasn't that message also implied in the first movie, but then everybody, the song was so catchy that we interpreted it <laughs> as being unironic. And then to, I think to make up for that, they put, cause everything is awesome. If you listen to the whole song there, the lonely Island starts lift, li lifting, listing off all the awesome things. And they're just naming like fucking like waiting at the DMV. Awesome. It's right. Like it's a bunch of lame, boring shit. That's the joke. Is that everything is not awesome? It's just like this op optimistic outlook. So then, in this movie, clearly Lord and Miller, who wrote this film as well as the first one, uh, the, in response to everybody misinterpreting the catchy "Everything Is Awesome" song, they mm -hmm. made a new song that is far more catchy, where the lyrics are just "This song will get stuck in your head. This is the catchiest mm -hmm. song ever written." And it's like shitting all over everybody who didn't understand the first movie. Which, and I you know, thought that was coming funny. Out of that, yeah, but coming out of that movie, I did have that stuck in my head. But now I can't for the life of me remember how it goes. <laughs> well, Florian, sing well, it for that, us. That, that was all of the lyrics. It was just, this is a, this is going to get stuck in your head. That was but all But how it did was. it go? Sing that it was how us. it went. Well, I'm sorry. I'm, Use... I'm musically impaired. 
use melodic timing and uh, rhythm to, to let us know how it went. Oh man, this is gonna be embarrassing. This song is gonna be stuck in your head. No, that, that's not right. <laughs> nope, that was it. That was exactly not, right. Not yet. Guys, if you want to hear that for two straight hours, go see the Lego movie in theaters now, part two. Oof. Second part. Only in kinos. Yeah. Somebody, somebody fucking, when this comes out on DVD, fucking cut out that song from that movie and just no. play it. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing the song is already up on YouTube if they want to hear the not as good version. If you want to hear the good version, right, of course, right. just play this podcast on repeat. Florian, in, in, okay, maybe, maybe the Austrian version, that's what that sounds like. <laughs> Oh, yeah, in the that translation, <laughs> yeah, there's right. no joy in any German speaker's <laughs> vocabulary in their voice at right, all. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything is awesome. <laughs> Everything is cool when you. Well, you can imagine what the German version of that would be. Is that what I sounded like? Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, Florian Erich, both of you have been negative Nancys. Give me one thing each. That uh, you enjoyed about this film. Hey, hey, I said I liked the movie. You said the title oh. was stupid, and then I just forgot yeah. everything else you and said. And then I, I stopped and I, listening. And I, I don't even agree with you about parts. They're not parts, they're pieces. What are you on about? This is not a pun. This is parts, punishment. Parts and pieces are uh, synonyms. Are they? Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And Damn, calling the movie the second <laughs> piece wouldn't really make any sense. I know, Will. It doesn't. Hey, oh, Lord and Miller, they've never had uh, a creative, <laughs> they've never had, did I say their name wrong? Lord? He said Lord and Miller, and it's Lord and Miller. L Lord and Miller have never had a creative <laughs> flop, and I refuse to say that this title was the first, Florian. I think <laughs> Damn. they're well, anyways, they're I completely forgot about the first Lego movie, so I was not betrayed by by the fact that they've forgotten the lessons of the of of the first Lego movie. The same way I wasn't disappointed by by how how the Incredibles forgot the lessons of the first Ooh. movie and just relived the same arc in that one. And how does this mind, keep happening? Uh, how does it keep happening? I was just happy that there was a, a nice fist shaped spaceship with raptors on it and that was just <laughs> the best. Hey, there you go. <laughs> what about you, Everich? Do you have Look into your dark, cold, angry heart and right, find right. one happy thing about this joyous, hilarious movie that has 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, let's go through my heart real quick. Um, let's okay. See, crushing loneliness. Oh, uh, wait, that's been wrecked recently. Yeah, you just uh, got back here. from a Valentine's oh, no, uh, date with your girlfriend. My dad killed himself. Yeah, that's oh, fair. Oh, God, fair. stop. Uh, let's see here. Um, unhappiness with my career that's not going to be Oof. um all right all right um so there's a great moment in this movie where uh okay so my favorite my favorite absolute favorite part of this movie is that the character what is the name rex thunder fist what, what the fuck? thunder danger vest vest. Danger vest. Thunder vest danger vest no, rex no. danger vest um rex danger vest is chris pratt and i do like that like kind of career retrospective thing but i swear to god it is Chris Pratt doing his best Kurt Russell impression. Uh, well, Kurt Russell, especially from yeah, this was recorded uh, right after they were in Guardians of the Galaxy. 2 no, together. exactly. So like he's just like, okay, what would the perfect action version of me be? It would basically be Kurt Russell. Yeah. So it's essentially he's doing Kurt Russell from Big Trouble in Little China, <laughs> and I, I did like that. It's so clear that that's what he was doing, and uh, I think as much as I might have problems with Chris Pratt and his. Uh, his personal beliefs. He is definitely an oh, oh, he definitely shut the fuck up. He definitely commits to that role. Juno, nobody cares about your opinions on Chris Pratt. Okay, go back to yeah, go back to being a pregnant uh, teen. <laughs> unsolicited well, uh, opinion. Wait, what are these opinions that that Chris Pratt has said that, that he was just now, like? You know, Chris Pratt, and correct me if I'm wrong, and I don't want to go too into the weeds, but Chris Pratt maybe is a member of a church that likes to lynch gay people. May Who who, who can say? Oh, and no. maybe the lesbian actress from Juno called him out on maybe. But but he didn't do anything. He's just a member of the church. What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. oh, is that correct? Are they lynching gay people at that church? E How big is that church? Damn. It sounds Hell's like a temple church. of hate. 
Uh, Chris Pratt is pretty famously pretty conservative, which is fine. Like his his whole god shtick, that's that's perfectly fine. But then as soon as you like want to like fuck with other people's lifestyles, I, I don't like that. Well, there you go. And political hour with E. Rich comes to a close yet again. Remember, folks, uh-huh. keep to yourself and keep on keeping on. <laughs> it's, it's, that's your message for the day. Wow. Well, I'm I'm glad that you're so unbiased here, Rich. I'm sure that that you're gonna apply the same standard to other to 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 the progressive side, and you would hate it if if progressive hey. would ever try to interfere with the lives of other people. You know, let me say this: <laughs> at, at least E. Rich is judging Chris Pratt for Chris Pratt's actions, instead of all the people who hate him because of Star Lord's actions in Avengers Infinity War. <laughs> <laughs> at least you can separate the actor. From the character. And for that, I thank you. But first, <laughs> uh, there are a few other things I want to point out in the movie. The movie, I think, wanted to be a musical but was embarrassed by it, so only included yeah, three musical numbers, two of which are sung by Tiffany Haddish's, I think that's her name, Haddish, her uh, character of the the queen, whatever you want to be, or whatever her name is. Uh, that, that's literally named queen, right. whatever you want to be. Uh, I thought both of these songs were really great. The first one in particular, the one where she's singing about how she's not wink, wink evil. I thought uh, mm. that song was a real banger. I think it was the best song in the movie. And uh, yeah, I really liked the two or three musical breaks they took, even though it, it's really jarring when when you only have a couple. Then it's like, wh- wait, why are we breaking into song then? <laughs> if it's not I a musical? I feel like they had different ideas of what they wanted the movie the movie to be and it never really congealed to be like one single movie because like for most of this movie uh the wild style and benny the spaceship guy and the pirate charlie team, day all, yeah charlie day like they're all just kind of like out in space like traveling and there's this robot character that eventually is like turns out to be this like woman with the like purple hair or whatever like what is that character? Why did we spend so much time with that fucking nonsense? Yeah, don't Wait, you robot? You, you thought it was a robot character? <laughs> it was just oh, a person wearing like a, a helmet. E, e- Rich, I, I it's agree. Like a space suit. No, let, let me say, E Rich, I agree completely. I hate it in movies that take place in space when they introduce a random character with like purple hair and the character doesn't make no! any sense, no! doesn't add anything to the movie, and in fact worsens the movie experience. I hate it too. I hate it. I'll, I'll, I'll agree. I hate it too. It sucks. It should never happen, but we have to live with it. That's the choice yeah. they made. How do I always set myself up for this? <laughs> <laughs> you think I'd learn by now? <laughs> no. Yeah, no, like what was that be, actually? What was that character for? Consistent, and you're just gonna say all pink-haired women are fine, but no. You couldn't have just believed women. You did this to yourself. <laughs> all right, let, let's jump into the spoiler territory so I can clear right, up E. Right. Rich's confusion, folks. I guess we should say if we would recommend the movie before we spoil the whole thing in case you want to go see it yourself. Uh, me, personally, I actually quite enjoyed the film a lot. I think Lego Movie uh, 1 and Lego Batman are better films, but if you liked them, I don't see why you would not like this. You might want to wait for Redbox or Netflix, though. There's right. no reason to rush out to the theater when Alita Battle Angel is now out, folks! <laughs> Anime oh, Kino, baby! Oh! My my big eye waifu is finally Hell here. Hell yeah! I'm gonna have to literally rent out every single theater in the IMAX theater just so I can jerk off at the movie theater at, to see that movie. Jesus! Do you know how much it's gonna fucking cost me? There's like 500 seats in the IMAX. They're like 15 yeah, bucks a piece. To afford this, I'm gonna have to start a GoFundMe so I can rent out an entire IMAX theater to jerk off to Alita. They'll have 2019. Yep. The cleanup alone will cost millions. <laughs> <laughs> That's their problem. <laughs> Patreon.com slash monkey if you want to make my dream come true. Anyway, uh, would you guys recommend this movie? I, I yeah, would definitely. I would recommend it if you if you like the other uh, other Lego movies. Like I, I'm sure if you watch this like right after the first one and didn't think about it too much, it would be great. It's just that I've really built that first movie up in my head. Uh, and this movie can kind of not do anything except be uh kind of a disappointment i just felt like that first movie was just so bursting with great jokes and great characters and it just feels like they're just doing the same thing again a lot of the time well Ebert, here, here's what i think the problem is when you hear we're gonna make a, a lego movie we all immediately think probably what we thought of the emoji movie this is gonna fucking suck 
It's going to be a, just a cash grab bullshit one out of 10 movie. So then when it's right. a genuine 10 out of 10, it feels like a 20 out of 10 because their expectations were so low. Now, going into this exactly. one, there was such a high expectation. The movie never really stood a chance. Mm-hmm. So so even if it's Definitely as good not. or just slightly worse, it probably seems uh, quite a bit worse in our minds. There's like two or three moments where like I laugh out loud and I think, oh, genuinely clever. One of my favorite parts <laughs> is when uh, the Rex... Uh, Thunderfist? What the fuck? God is damn it! It's Danger it's Vest. Vest. Respect Danger the best Vest. character. Okay, Rex Danger Vest says like, "Turn the engines up to eleven times two. And then like one of the Blaster Raptors goes twenty two. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love little moments like that. Um, and this movie just doesn't have as many of those charming moments. I even thought that uh, the Batman, like a Batman movie, had had more charming, funny, crazy, stupid shit like that. Um, oh yeah, when, I, I love the Lego Batman. Meta, Right, right. When it does get meta like that, I, I do, I do love it. Um, it. It just doesn't have as much like pure comedy driving it. I'd say. What about you, Florian Hemsel? Yeah, it was all around pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty wholesome. Wow. It's a wholehearted can recommendation. Record, can we just record Florian saying that every single time and just <laughs> every single Holy movie? Shit. Oh yeah, it was you know it was whatever. It was pretty well, good. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, it was good, all right. What, <laughs> <laughs> what was the last movie that you saw that you hated? Oh man, probably I'm, the original I, Lord I, of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, how dare you! <laughs> Shit, I should have an answer for this. Oh man, I no, no. I the forgot. fact that you don't is bad, or I, I think it's bad. But I mean, yeah, what, maybe you just love everything. Hated? Yeah, everything uh, is awesome, you know. See, I'm the one who took the message of this movie on, in heart. Didn't both of you guys hate Glass, and I'm the only one who liked it? <laughs> I think we did. I think. Yeah. You're right. Well, actually, I was neutral on it, but I, of course I you fucking were. I started to hate it when I realized how much of a waste of time the whole thing was. <laughs> <laughs> All Ryan right. Has no hate in his heart, just love. All right, so you have, um, I guess. One and three fourths recommendations for the film. So let's move on to the spoiler section. Ba 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 ba. I'm gonna ruin the oh, important plot of the film. Uh, so the plot of the film is that the Lego universe is in apocalypse because the sister is allowed to play with the brother, and the brother does not like that. And over the course of the film, he must learn subconsciously through this imagined story of his Legos going on an adventure that. Uh, playing with your sister is okay. Here's why I say Rex Danger Vest did nothing wrong. Rex oh, Danger man. Vest is revealed to be Emmett from the future who went mm, back in like time that. because he wanted to stop the brother and the sister from playing. He doesn't want these worlds to unite. He likes things the way they were before. And I agree wholeheartedly, folks. We all know for a fact that being forced to play with your long, uh, younger sibling is fucking bullshit. It's not fair. Those are your Legos. That's your world you built. And this little fucking uh, snot-nosed six-year-old brat's gonna come in and destroy your work for the sake of we're playing together? Fuck off, Mom and Dad. That's complete fucking horseshit. If I'm playing Spyro the Dragon, my brother doesn't get to play every other level. It's my game file. I'm fucking playing. So Rex, Rex Danger Vest is right. Fuck that shit. The boy should be able to play by himself. The sister, go find your own fucking activity, you little <laughs> sucky by bitch. Oh. God, it so, pisses wait, me off. I hate my monkey, fucking brother. Monkey, can you explain this shit to me? Because I was slightly confused during this movie. Okay. And no, I did not like fall asleep during it. <laughs> famous for wow, doing for that. For once. Oh, man, it must have been really <laughs> no, good. No, 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 no. no. So <laughs> they keep talking. All the characters know about your Mamageddon or Mamageddon. What, right. What were they saying? Um... How do they know about that? Do so, they know that their mom is just going to get pissed at them at some point and tell them to put away their Legos? Uh, the mom has threatened them many times. If you don't play the Legos together, I will put them all into storage. She threatens that in the movie? Yeah. Before that scene when they... In, in, the like, fi- are- in, in like the big final you know, scene when it's the three humans, she says, I've told you this so many times, but this time I truly mean it. Pack up the Legos, kids. They're going in the box. I just wish that was a bit more established because, like, we're not – we're in a post-Lego movie world. We know that, like, it, it also exists in this uh, – in the in this world where the real people are playing with Legos and shit. Like, yeah. they could really have built up that relationship between the older sister and – or, I'm sorry, the younger sister and the older brother. Um, 
I just didn't really understand how these characters knew about this uh, apocalypse scenario that was going to happen. Um, and I guess I, I like that the the lesson is kind of about that you're going to have bad times sometimes as siblings, but you can get over it and uh, learn to play with each other. That's fine. Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> Why should you have to play with your Legos with your little sister? Are you fucking kidding me? This kid is like 15. A 15-year-old, under no circumstance, should be forced to play with a 10-year-old girl. They have nothing in common. No, Monkey, no, my no equal is ground. My mommy, and I'm gonna do what my mommy tells me to do. <laughs> I Fuck love that. Maya Rudolph. She, she's a 10 year old girl. She should be fucking watching Kim Possible and uh, eating a go gurt and let the brother <laughs> go in the basement and watch Back to the Future, like they say in the movie, and play with his Legos. Sister, fuck off. Get out. Go. Dad, go. What do you think, Lauren? Lauren, do you have any siblings? I have no siblings, but it's it's crazy. Who who could be the right one? Is it Mumkey who never learned to play along with his with his brother? <laughs> or could it be Irid who Me and my who, brother who, are the same gender, two years apart, and even <laughs> I didn't want to fucking play with him. You telling me a fifteen year old boy wants to play with his <laughs> ten year old sister? Fucking stupid! They have nothing in common other than Legos. She can play with her own goddamn Legos. She's covering them in glitter and shit, putting stickers on them. <laughs> If you put a fucking glittery sticker on my goddamn Batman Lego, I will push your little bitch ass down the <laughs> stairs. I don't care if you're my sister. Don't touch my fucking toys. Oh, man. Mumpkin really getting strong here. Arguing for child segregation. Oh, man. This is it's pretty crazy. No. So, they, they, can, they, how... they can eat dinner together. They can go oh, watch. Wow. Uh, they can go watch the Lego movie in the movie theater together. Just oh, that's like fine. Wh why? Why does he get to play on my game file? Can't I have my own Spyro game file? <laughs> well, if your sister just fucking shoved glitter inside your PlayStation because she wanted to play it with you, is that fucking fair? No, it's insanity. This is insanity, Monster folks. Turn to play. This film is crazy. Yeah, your brother with his fucking Cheeto dust covered fingers asking for your controller that you got for your birthday. Are you fucking kidding me with this bullshit? Fuck off, mom and dad. Just because you're too. <laughs> you're so disengaged from your own children that you can't even entertain this little 10 year old retard for 20 minutes. You gotta. What, am I free babysitting now? You're gonna throw him on me because you don't wanna talk to her either? Fuck you! Reminds me of the time when uh, my brother gave me back our video game console, um, our, our Nintendo 3DS, and for some reason it was all sticky. I was ah, like, what the fuck! You fuck. What the fuck? Are you, are you fucking jerking off on the on the 3DS? <laughs> why? Why is shit sticking? Yeah, yeah. Did you watch Alita? Wait, wait. Did you say th Did you say 3DS? That console is like five years old. No, no, no. It's older than that. 3DS is not that old, dude. Did this happened like <laughs> oh, recently. Oh, it's old. It's really old. Well, like eight years old. Erich is almost no, thirty. I, dude, I swear that thing was was around when I was in school. I was just I was just about to protest and say I'm not almost thirty, but I'm closer to thirty than I am twenty. Yeah. So fuck. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the 3DS came out in 2010. Uh, okay, so nine oh, years ago. Know. Nine years ago. So you would have been like 15. Okay, that's fair. That's fine. You know what? Fuck you. I, 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 I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> but still, that's really weird. <laughs> yeah, a brand new console and this, this young boy is allowed to jerk off all over. How <laughs> embarrassing. Ah, uh, okay. Well, Damn. so that's just me explaining why the villain of the film was actually the hero who did nothing wrong. Mm. Uh, do you guys have any other spoiler-based citations of the film i liked when they were just chilling underneath the uh the clothes washer and that was like the eternal exile that like uh thunder vest danger vest whatever the fuck his name what is i mean chilling Life <laughs> yeah, I mean, what for the eyes while they were frozen this limbo and they couldn't move because the ground wasn't covered in legos and they had to to learn to walk all over again i think that was pretty traumatizing to him yeah man it's a good motivation for the character of Emmett, the most happy-go-lucky Lego in existence, to spend, right. what, five years under a washer and dryer to become the ultimate villain? Uh, I thought it was mm -hmm. uh, very moving. No, I did like that part. Yeah. I did. Um, I so, like the so, apocalypse setting. So, so did Rex know that, that he was being wrong? Did he, did he do this all before? 
<laughs> Did he travel back uh, if, in time? If we're going to try to figure out the, the time loop scenario, uh, <laughs> it, it clearly makes no fucking sense because there is no back in time to travel to. <laughs> like, I, I don't even know how this happened because... Yeah, he just split in two, huh? <laughs> yeah. I mean, but again, it's all in the imagination of a 15-year-old boy, so it, it doesn't need to make any sense. Right. Um, yeah. I did really like the, the – what was the queen uh, whatever you want to be? Yeah, queen whatever yeah, you want to be. That's her. Uh, she's a great character played by Tiffany Haddish, yeah. and she just is constantly reforming into different sizes and shapes. That seems to be, like, the, the perfect character to have in a Lego movie. Um, I just wish that she had something to do in this movie other than try to marry Batman and sing a bunch of great hey, songs. Sing a bunch that, of great that, songs. I mean, that, that was a good love story, man. I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> it, it genuinely did become a very touching love story. Yeah. <laughs> Between a bunch of Lego bricks and Batman. <laughs> and she was pretty cool, but I don't know. Her face was so weirdly thick. I don't. I don't understand. Why? Why didn't they? Florian just is not like them block? thick. Florian. No, I don't. Come on, high test, Florian. <laughs> what? She high was point? an absolute unit. High test. I, I don't get it. Uh. <laughs> Another one of these crazy English puns that you Austrians stand no chance of comprehending. Oh no. She was humongous, man. What do you want? <laughs> No, don't say humongous, man. The last guy who said that got <laughs> shit all over. <laughs> all right. Do we have any final thoughts on the Lego movie to the second Lego movie? Was there uh, was there an after credit scene? Because I did not stay for the very, very end. Oh, man. I, I watched the whole credits. They were. Oh, my God. Song. What the fuck? You said you always dart out of the theater as soon as the credits start. Why did you stay this time? It, it, it was such a catchy song, man. True. The Lonely yeah, Island good. did a very good credit song. I'll give them that. Yeah. About how great the credits are. So, yeah. wait. Was there a yeah. very, very end of the credits scene for him? Don't think so. Damn, all right. Glad I didn't well, stick. actually, I guess I only stayed for that song. I don't know. There might have oh, been. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, yeah, are the credits right usually 10 long. minutes? I think too long. One song of credits is enough. <laughs> all right. Should we wrap things up, boys? Do you guys have any other thoughts that you're really bursting at the seams to get out? Um, no, I, I just wonder, will there be another Lego movie after this? No, um, not if this movie does as bad as it is. Yeah, the opening weekend was half as successful as the original film. Things are not looking bright for the Lego cinematic universe. Oh, mm -hmm. we'll just have to wait for the Chinese market to, to pick it up and bail them out. <laughs> I, I don't know. Way. You, you don't think Lego is big in China? Erich, would you be upset if this film was nominated for an Oscar after the first <laughs> Lego movie got snubbed? <laughs> No, I, I don't believe in retrospective Oscar uh, offerings. Well, it's not retrospective. It'd be this movie. <laughs> yeah, but okay. they should be giving it to the first one. You know what? No, I, I shouldn't have asked. Stupid question. <laughs> let's uh, let's sign off. For well, is it Kino? Can I please just can we just stop, <laughs> me, please? All right, I guess you're. Really Let it fine. end. Let, Let it go. Fucking end! Uh, we will be back with a whole bunch of Kinos in the coming week. We're, we want to see Alita. Uh, at least I want to see Isn't It Romantic? And also, what was that other movie we wanted to see? A uh, Happy Death Day to you. Yeah. So expect hopefully all of those Ooh. in the near future if E. Rich's busy, busy schedule of going on dates with hot chicks doesn't uh, interrupt him from going on a podcast with his friends. He reaches a player. Ew, don't say that. <laughs> well, I don't know. We haven't seen her. We'll, we'll judge. No, no. It, we'll it judge doesn't, when we see her. No, 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 no. It's not we haven't seen her. It's you're not a player because you are with one girl. <laughs> Hopefully uh, you're not well, playing true. her, E. Rich. Well... I mean, I, it was it was zero girls before. Uh, wow. You've really so it, it's not that you've stepped up your game. You just started playing. <laughs> well, he's a single girl player. It'll be great. Okay. Don't, don't the, hate the, the way it's meant the to be enjoyed. Florian and Erich, where can people find you guys online? You Check find out games <laughs> one at oh, a time. No. I was first. Check out Game Squid on YouTube, everyone. And yeah, check you... out Bobkey's review of me if you haven't. <laughs> I still have to listen to that interview. I'm just oh my god, Erich! Uh, <laughs> not being on the biggest platform on online is definitely not uh, 
advantageous for but me. it is yeah you, you know the, the interview with florian is up on youtube on a uh, channel called yes. all oh, hail is. chancellor susan folks Oh, uh, fuck. Cool. All right. I will definitely check that out then. Um, anyway. Oh, only then will you watch it. <laughs> my channel is E-Rich, E-R-I-C-H. Go on fucking YouTube and find me there somehow. I just did a new series with Rant, a.k.a. Midas, where we, he recommends Danganropa to me, and uh, I recommend Succession, the HBO show to him. Florian and I do streams every fucking uh, week, and I love that shit. And uh, yeah. I promise to get back into jojo shit i probably won't be reading it out anymore i'm probably just going to talk about it so you know oh that's better and this has been is it kino we are on itunes do us a favor go find us on itunes uh download the podcast give us a five star rating if you really want to hear more of florian's supple voice in my continuously dying voice uh, you can also find the podcast at twitch.tv slash monkeyjones, where we do this show live every single time with an active chat full of people who we ignore until we <laughs> sign off. For nice. Zakino, I have been Monkey Jones, and we'll see uh, you guys next time. Also Spotify, Google Play, Podbean, all that shit. All that shit, okay. Yeah. And I cut it there. Okay, thank God. Hey. Oh my god, folks, we were just Ow. we were in a parallel dimension for 45 minutes and now we need to really catch up on this Quentin drama. I'm dying to oh, know. Yeah. Has he been responding this entire time? I have no idea. Let's take a look. Oh, you don't you Oh, don't good. He know, he then. has been. He has been. <laughs> <laughs> Did he finally catch on that you were reading out what he was writing? Well, let's let's read it. Okay, here's the newest Quentin message. Look. I only instigated the situation because I thought the account was you. Yeah, no, no shit. Of course you thought that. Of course you thought. You know, l l let me do a little uh, uh, look see here. Mm. Oh, okay. Quentin reviews, and I'm I'm not trying to compare dicks here. I'm just I'm trying to get into his uh, psychology here. He has currently less Twitter followers than me. So of course, in his mind, when he sees an account with 250 followers, of course he would assume that's the real Monkey Jones. Because of why would Monkey Jones have more followers than the great Quentin reviews? I have to assume that's why he believed that an account run by some kid called Not Monkey Jones with 250 followers. I'm sure he truly believed that was me because it had no followers. And who would follow a guy who hypothetically accused another guy of being the F slur? Anyway. You guys, you guys know the 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 New Yorker cartoons? No, no. You can make the New Yorker cartoons actually funny by putting in the caption "Christ, what an asshole!" for every single one of them. <laughs> um, for every no. for everything that Quentin says, just put "Christ, what an asshole!" All right. I'm, afterwards, I, we have a whole paragraph to get nice. through. Look, All I right. only instigated the situation because I thought the account was you. Still bothering me. Well, if the account was bothering you, uh, get fucked. It's not my fault, not my problem. Sounds like you got trolled and you fuck, you fell for it hook, line, and sinker. And you made yourself look like an idiot in front of now, I think, tens of thousands of people today. So I guess good yeah. job for exploding on an account with 200 followers. Uh, I've otherwise forgotten about the whole thing, and I'm sorry I brought it up. You should be. Uh, but wha what you did was totally in the wrong both then and now again as you just admitted i didn't do anything now i have not talked about you publicly in a month until you dm'd a random account trying to explode on me and you missed i would be totally willing to reach out and talk to you about this I'm gonna be honest oh man it needs to happen i really oh, man, really minds. other than quentin sending autistic messages i don't give a fuck about you if you never appeared in my inbox or twitter feed again i would be happy every time you tweet something stupid so many people send it to me and i ignore it because i really really don't care i don't care about you i've never watched your videos in full i don't care about you quentin i don't people want me to and i let them all down because you are such a lol cow that they, they want their, their favorite YouTuber, Monkey Jones, to jump on the bandwagon. But I no longer care. You've done enough. You have enough people shitting on you. I don't need... I'll find my own fucking targets, dude. I don't need you. I don't need you for views. 
I would be uh, totally willing to reach out and talk to you, but I stand by everything I said there. I, I don't care. You can stand by it. You were an idiot for calling me a F slur. Again, he keeps saying this F slur. <laughs> Disgusting. And you should be more aware of the horrible ways your fan base has reacted. Yeah, sorry, buddy. You can go fuck yourself. I'm not responsible for what my fans do. You're assuming that they're my fans because they're shitting on you. But guess what? Everybody shits on you because you're a dumb fuck. You are a dumb fuck who posts stupid shit all the time. You keep you, you message random accounts trying to pick fights with them, not knowing who you're talking to. Everybody is shitting on you equally. It's not just people who are fans of me. I'm guessing 99% of the shit you get is from people who don't even know who I am. That's how big of a lol cow you are. You can't blame all the hatred that you are receiving on me. You don't get to do that, Endless Jets. You don't get to do that, Digi Bro. People hate you for perfectly valid reasons because you are fucking embarrassing and it's not me. I'm not a mastermind brainwasher who can make tens of thousands of people do my bidding. You are fucking crazy crazy and fuck off just stop i don't mention you unless you mention me so if you just drop it i won't be tweeting about you ever again so stop just block me man just fucking block me that's it i'm done well that's that's too bad i i really had hoped that you would be milking this little cow a little longer oh well Guess it I let everybody end. down, Florian. I guess it's the humane thing to do to <laughs> to let him roam free and feed on the grass. He has of plenty course. of other farmers who are valiantly taking care of him <laughs> on Encyclopedia Dramatica and all those other oh, websites. Man. I've never contributed to any of them. I don't care. <laughs> Erich, how was your date with your girlfriend today? Uh, it was amazing. Wow. <laughs> Thrilling. Give us the goods. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he got the goods uh. today. <laughs> oh, oh, uh oh. Uh, actually, she she bought me a, an an amazing gift. Uh, wow. Star Wars: The Last Jedi on Blu-ray. <laughs> no, no, I already own it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, the art of the Lord of the Rings. It's very nice. The art. The art of Lord of the Rings. Is it like a book? Well, what art? <laughs> uh, the art that J.R. Tolkien himself. Drew in the uh, in the book. Oh, oh cool! Oh, the original. Oh, cool. Yeah. Hmm. All right, folks. I'm turning back on the uh, the subscription alerts and the donation alerts. Sorry that we had that off for the podcast, but we record locally, and the audio would have appeared in the show. And I think after yelling about both hating playing with my siblings and Quentin. Uh, all the recovery time I had on my voice has now been undone, and I'm not going to be able to record anything now for the next three days. <laughs> wow, Keno's really fucking taking its toll, huh? Yeah, I, I got to calm down. These people, they get me so worked up with their wanting me to play with my sibling and blaming me because they're stupid. It's disgusting. Well, you, really, you really do sound fine, though. I, I guess oh, you just don't feel fine. Yeah, uh, oh, well. I, I, feel, I feel like I just ran... Uh, like a mile long sprint and I'm like breathing really hard. That's how the inside of my throat feels, but otherwise I feel fine. Damn. What a hero doing it all for his fans. Pretty good. <laughs> oh, wow. It really is one thirty in the morning. Everidge, do you have to go to class or uh, to work or class or anything tomorrow? Do you need to get off? What? Huh? Is it, huh? Is there work What's tomorrow? Happening? What? Are you asleep? Huh? Is tomorrow a holiday? What? What are you talking is about? This, is this the alert that Erich could just snooze? <laughs> I think he's on <laughs> autopilot. What? Uh, uh, well, I, I guess maybe if we mention his oh? father, he'll snap out of it. Mention what? his what? His father. No, I'm, I'm so sick oh? of this shit. Stop it. <laughs> One guy in the chat said, is this a meme or is Erich's father real dead? And I'm thinking, oh my God, what a horrible, horrible misunderstanding. <laughs> what a nice meme. <laughs> but but who could be Erich's father all along? <laughs> Was it wow. you, Florian? Are you Erich's real dad? Oh, How no. old are you, Florian? <laughs> um... 50 years. Now, <laughs> Florian, you're like 30. So I guess when you were six, you might have met up with Erich's mom. And uh, the rest is history. She, yeah. she, she stuck and, a Lego up your myself. butt. I've been podcasting with my dad for the past 
year. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Shit. What a revelation. I'll, I'll be just like, look, I am your father. All right. All right. What? I I'm pretty pooped. Do you guys have anything you guys really wanted to talk about, or should we uh, wrap up for the night? What? Are so we going to answer questions in the chat? Or yeah, something? yeah, yeah. People in the chat, if you want to, I think Erich is spent. Uh, so if you have any anything you want us to talk about, any questions, hit us in the chat before Does I Erich pass out. Does have a Labo set now? You're not a fan what of. What is that? Wait, do you even have a Switch? Yeah, I have a Switch. Oh, well. I'm the ass you man. On a Switch? Damn. Wait, so much money no spent. Brad Dassey. What the fuck? Uh, he says Did he. he, he... Get a tweet from Brad Dassey? Yeah, yeah. Me and Brad Dassey have been tweeting back and forth quite a bit. Uh, Hell yeah. I think I might make a video about his amazing invention opportunity. He what is that? he made a video saying I'm starting a GoFundMe Kickstarter because I've I've spent the last ten years of my life coming up with the most brilliant invention that's gonna revolutionize Let the world. Patchy play Spyro. No, fuck you, fuck Patchy. <laughs> I hope Patchy <laughs> paid you to say that because it's not happening. Uh, <laughs> you guys can't hear it, but we got a donation anyway. Mm. Uh, Brad Dassey makes this video saying. If I can get $500, I got a company that will produce uh, this product that I came up with. And if you uh, donate 50 bucks, you get one for free. And I can't wait to go to market. I'm going to become a millionaire with this brilliant invention <laughs> that will help get ice and snow off your car windshield. Now you're thinking, all right, this, interesting. Because yes, this is an issue I have faced in my life. Living in Iowa... 10 yeah. inches of snow on my windshield fuck that but here i think is the fundamental problem the information i just gave you is perhaps even more than the amount of information provided in his kickstarter <laughs> video he's asking people to donate to his imaginary product and he gave zero details about what it would entail that is the ultimate oh alpha my. move. Like, you give me money. Valentine? I'm not even going to tell you what for. Just give me money. Uh, yes, Elliot Roger, I will be your Valentine. Uh, uh, thank you for the $523. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so would you donate to a Kickstarter for a an invention? If you, if you watched an episode of Shark Tank where the guy walks in and says, I came up with an hello invention. Sharks. to Hello, sharks. <laughs> hello, Mr. Wonderful. Your bald head is beautiful yeah. today. I came up with an invention. That will get all the snow and ice off your car, and I just I want this amount of money for it. And if that's all you said, how many sharks would immediately say I'm out? My guess, all of them. You have to. Do you have a prototype? Can you explain what this invention is? I know you're probably scared uh, that somebody's going Richard to swoop Branson, in and steal Richard it. Richard Branson would probably be like, yeah. Don't I mean, I don't know. Florian, would you donate to um, an invention that you have no details about other than what you fantasize it will do? Well, damn, I'm sure it's going to just be a really cheap window scraper. So, <laughs> That's his 10-year invention? <laughs> yeah. He just buys a bunch of window scrapers and he probably sticks something else on the side of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's also got a can opener. Very good. <laughs> now, if, if this product truly only cost five hundred dollars for him to develop a prototype, how sophisticated can it truly be? How can it really revolutionize the get snow and ice off your windshield market when it probably at at the store will cost the same as a plastic ice scraper? What could it possibly be? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the reason why I want to make a video about this is because there have been many funny updates. <laughs> uh, he tweeted out yesterday, <laughs> thank God my Kickstarter has not yet hit the $500 goal because the company that was going to make the prototype for $500, it turns out, is a scam company that was going to steal my money. <laughs> Wow! Holy shit! I don't know Scam how stuff. I don't know how he discovered that, uh, but it's a very interesting update. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This guy in the chat. How fucking hard is it to just make five hundred dollars on your own? Good, good point. Why does he need our five hundred dollars? <laughs> Who doesn't? Ha if you really think you can make a million bucks off of this, why don't you invest five hundred of your own dollars into <laughs> yourself? What the fuck, Brad? Well, it's so cheap. Well, he 
Come on, he spent every waking moment coming up with the perfect window scraper. You don't understand the the elegant design that he's <laughs> come forth with. It's worth every penny, man. Let me let me explain. I, I one time did a five hundred dollar Kickstarter. It was so I could get a 3DS with a capture card so I could produce Pokemon Nuzlocks with it. It was a very distinct uh, goal. It was, if you give me this money, I will be able to produce this content for you. And as an added bonus, I will name the Pokemon after you. I'll put your name in the credits. Uh, all these bells and whistles. People know what they're paying for. And the reason why I can't pay for it is because I am literally um, a starving, broke college kid. <laughs> who is 20, and Brad Dassey, he's a business owner, he's a full-grown adult, he's not providing a service to people, he's not going to use his $500 to give them uh, tens of hours of entertainment. He wants people to invest in him so that he can produce a product that will get him rich. And at best, if they donate $50, they will get, I assume, one of these $5 trinkets for free. Brad, it does not seem like a good deal for anybody but you is the thing. Am I wrong? What is Brad Das like Fuck. Well, well see the the thing is that the wealth will just trickle down. It'll it'll all Shut work the out. fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Yeah, didn't expect me to actually shut up, huh? Nah. What, what now, Aceus? Hector Itos Itosa, thank you for resubscribing. Welcome back. Welcome back. Here, Rich, uh, I, I assume you remember Brad Dassey from our subway rides in New York City. Of course I do. How can I forget? Big fan. I, I want to get him on the Monkey Jones interview show so I can ask him these questions uh, to his face. We can get some answers. He, Maybe he'll hit his $500 goal. He should stick as a entertainer and not be an entrepreneur because yeah, he's very entertaining. He has, yeah, I don't think he has the uh, balls to stick with a, uh... all right, boys. Joey wants us to do F Mary kill Asperger, Quentin reviews and Digibro. bro. Uh, wow. I, I guess I have to go first. <laughs> Ooh, well, if I fuck or marry Asperger, I will probably end up being the one killed. So oh, I no. I think he, just for the sake of my own life and my throat being able to breathe, I would kill Asperger. <laughs> Digi and Quentin, I would want to marry Quentin because he'll probably always stay in his basement reviewing the Fairly Odd Parents <laughs> movie and I will never have to see him. <laughs> and I'll fuck Digi, bro, because I am dying to see what his phimosis actually looks like because it sounds fascinating. Oh, he but, but he it's says it's like, ass. he says it's really beautiful and I believe him, but he would not send me a photo. Wow. But, but oh, he also God. told you that he never washes it or cleans it in any way. So that makes me want to see it so? more. Oh, yeah. I need I to see to this. It. It's, it's probably an abomination. You're hey, insane. When I see a car wreck with blood and guts <laughs> everywhere, I have to stare at it, Florian. You have you to gonna, see. You're going to take a whiff at all that, that gore? Yes. Mm. I mean, I can plug my nose when I have sex. I've done it before. <laughs> wow. How do, you, how do you think E. Rich was made? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Are you my daddy? Uh-oh. Oh, He's your mother. <laughs> <laughs> we should have a Mori episode where we figure out which one of you fuckers is my father. <laughs> Do, would you guys um, have a different F. Mary kill with these uh, yeah, characters? Yeah, actually, mine is fuck Asperger. Uh, Do you like to be Asperger. hit and choked? Uh, <laughs> he I will kill oh. you. Uh, hey, all I'm saying cool. is don't come crying to me when he does it because it never worked out well for me. Call mm -hmm. somebody else. Um, Mary did you, bro. Okay. And kill Quentin. <laughs> you don't even know Quentin. Why would you kill him? Uh, I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> You'd rather not risk one day meeting him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What about I you? I feel Florian? like I could really, in, in a relationship with, I could really lay down the wall and uh, <laughs> beat the shit out of him if he steps out of line and starts going back to Matt. Uh, uh, wait, you're talking about Digi right now? Yeah. 
I would like to see you guys fight. I think that would be a really cool fight. Ooh, I would fight Digibro. Yeah. Wow. I mean, like, like a not not a vicious fight, like a friendly boxing match. I think that would be a good. Oh, I think that, that'd be a good fight. Be. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Of what course. about a rap battle? No, Whoa, no. What? D Digi would fucking said... kill uh, Erich. I thought you said rat battle. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I would like to see that too. Mm. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? Mm, they're not eating the rats. They're fighting. I, I assume with them or alongside them, like John Wick with his dogs. Oh, I thought it was about who could endure a rat torture the longest. <laughs> <laughs> or like a rat cook-off, who could make the most delicious barbecue rat. <laughs> The Ratatouille. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. That's what that movie's about? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Florian, oh, what's your F. Mary kill? Oh, man. Ah, it's just so hard. What, what choices? <laughs> well, I guess I'll, I'll marry Ditchy, bro, for the money. Mm. <laughs> Wait, uh, uh, I, I got some bad news for you. Oh, yeah? What, what's that? He's a year behind on paying his taxes. Oh, oh no! Yeah. Well, that's yeah. really backfired. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll 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 just double down on my mistakes by <laughs> by by fucking Asperger. Oh, both of you. <laughs> oh yeah. Oof. Why you do you guys know, both want to kill Quentin? Choices. See, no, Quentin's right. You guys are my fans. You're giving him these death threats, saying you want to kill him. You know what? Yeah. Quentin was right all along. Uh, I, I like these. Go ahead. I like this new question. Uh, okay, yeah, Joey wants to know who would win in a fight between us three. I say oh Florian. God. Florian would win in a fight because no. he would never leave his... Oh, okay, that's fair. Oh, yeah, you could never find me. But <laughs> if we yeah, were... If the three of us were in the same vicinity, Erich would fucking murder both of us. He, he wouldn't even need to try. Me and Florian yeah. could team up and Erich would win. Well, yeah. it just depends on how, how big the arena is. Cause if, what do you mean? He's not gonna, well, he's not going to catch us. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think I'm pretty effective at short range, but I think as soon as you <laughs> run away from me, I'm pretty yeah, fucked. No, I think I could run away from Erich for a long time. But, no. I mean, if the fight goes on until one of us dies, I think I'm going to starve to death before either of you. I, I can walk for a long time, though. I'm like the Terminator. True. I just but keep Erich walking. Just Everett's just, just going to fall asleep, and then he can... <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll put on a movie, and he'll fall asleep. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, no, my weakness. Uh, Sue Fan, no, I have not watched Kaiji Season 2 yet. It's on my list, along with fucking Avatar, The Last Airbender, Legend of Korra, all these fucking Wait. cartoons people want me Wait. to watch. You haven't well, seen the... Avatar, The Last Airbender? No, it's on my list. Why doesn't anybody well, listen? Jesus Dude, fucking Which Christ. one, the movie or the, the anime? Uh, well, both, but I'm gonna watch the cartoon, not the yeah. movie. Oh, I thought we were gonna Kino, the terrible anime. Oh well, guess. Wait, uh, the uh, terrible no, anime? Uh oh. It's a terrible. <laughs> well, we can we can the the anime too. I guess. Yeah, we could. That Why would be good. More that I can teleport. How did I get the ability to teleport? <laughs> well, well that... I guess you. I, I guess you're like Hermione. You just have to be in different places at the same time to do all your jobs. Yeah, that's how he works three jobs at once. Yeah, fucking. And fuck. has a girlfriend, and does D and D, and fucking does this podcast, and all of your podcasts. Alleged girlfriend. You yeah. guys don't understand how tired I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, at that's all why. Times. That's why we should sign off soon, so you could go the fuck to bed. Yeah. Oh man. Then that's when we kill him. Uh oh. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> what did I ever do to you? Well, because well, we're in a fight to the death, so. Yeah, but you forget. It's a battle royale. <laughs> Who would win yeah, in Fortnite. Fortnite between the three of us? Well, I've never played, so I've I, never I'm played sure either. I uh, I'd go to the towers and I'd build a Fortnite. Okay, I think oh, Erich no. is going to win that fight, too. It sounds like he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, I build a better fort. Um, Europeans know all about forts. Yes. I'm gonna floss. I'm doing it. You I'm say flossing. Europeans know all about forts? Well, yeah, you don't have any castles, do you? In a America? Fort? We have a lot of forts, man. Remember the Alamo. Oh, Never Knox. forget. Fort Knox. Knox. Yeah. I think oh, you're, you're confusing forts with concentration camps, I think. Because <laughs> you, you guys have a lot of those, I remember. Yeah, I'll I'll just build a concentration camp in Fortnite. <laughs> That'll teach them. Internet historian, if that's the real you, thank you for subscribing, dude. Welcome aboard. You came just in time for us to sign off. Uh, Damn. 
for the Is It Kino After Show, I have, of course, been uh, Mumkey Jones. I will never go to sleep. I am always awake. Just <laughs> living. A waking nightmare. Well, and I've been Florian. <laughs> Everybody, my throat is fucked after tonight. But God damn it, I'm going to get out. Now that the the film festival entries were due yesterday, I'm going to get to work on that. Oh, I'll probably shit. be streaming a bunch of the entries right here on Twitch like I've been doing this whole time. Ex- when are you going to stream that shit? Uh, I don't really plan it out. The <laughs> <laughs> Probably like around between 8 and midnight Eastern time on any given day. Oh. We will also be doing another depression chamber very soon because the last one was very yeah. successful. Uh, had an amazing 37-minute story that has accumulated, I think, 12,000 views on YouTube alone. People really oh, like that story. So I, wow, I, we're going to keep doing that. Uh, as far as other live streams, you can expect this week uh, maybe another Monkey's Mailbag. Anyway, bye, everybody. See you next time. Bye. bye.